Bismillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah. My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we have talk about Assalamu alaikum. What do we mean when we say Assalamu alaikum? Why do we say Assalamu alaikum? And a little bit around this beautiful uh, salutation. A lot of people have this understanding that when we Muslims say Assalamu alaikum to each other, the underlying meaning is that do not be scared of me. I will not harm you. I will not cause you any problems. This is only Allah knows where this uh, meaning came from because this is not how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa understood it and applied it. And this is not how the Sahaba radiallahu anhum understood it and applied it. And this certainly is not how the great people of Islam understood it and applied it. So what does Assalamu Alaikum mean? And why there is so much emphasis on it? It also was used by other prophets. The Malaika alayhim salam, when they came down throughout the Quran, they have greeted their own prophets with Assalamu Alaikum. Now, it is important to understand that, for example, when the Malaika came to Ibrahim alayhi salam, and they said, uh, salaman, qala salaman, munkarun, and they said, Assalamu Alaikum, they said it in the language that he spoke with, not in Arabic. But Allah wa ta'ala gave us the meaning of that word. The Jews today, they say shalom, which is uh, Assalamu Alaikum, because the Jews don't have the S sound. So we and the Christians, they translated the meaning of the salam in their book to peace. But al-Islam withholds the meaning of as-salam. So what do we actually mean when we say as-salamu alaykum and why it is such a big deal when you say as-salamu alaykum to someone and they don't answer back, they get a sin. Okay, now the reason why we say as-salamu alaykum or maybe to understand why we say assalamu alaikum let me give you an example let's assume for a second every human on earth is sick everybody has got a disease and then allah wa ta'ala commands us and he said okay i am going to put a name of mine and that is a shafi the one who cures amongst you and every time you see someone who is sick you tell him may the curer be with you isn't that a good news for the person who is sick that you actually made a dua for him that the one who cures be with him and be on him, meaning to bring the cure to him? It certainly would. Another example. Let's assume that everyone is broke on earth and Allah huwa al-ghani, the rich. Now, every time you see a broke person, you tell him, may the rich be with you, may the rich be on you. Wouldn't that be a good news for him that you actually are making a great dua and you are inviting the almighty Allah who is the rich to be with that person? That is certainly a great deed. Now let's come back to Assalamu Alaikum. When we are walking down the street and we see somebody and we say Assalamu Alaikum, what do we mean? A lot of times we don't even pay attention to what we are saying. But what we are saying is this. The hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as in uh, Al-Bukhari in his Adab Al-Mufrad, another book that Imam Al-Bukhari has written. And uh, it, this hadith is, uh, has an authentic chain of a narrator, and all the narrators are authentic and reliable. So and this hadith also is reported by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu in a variety of different other books. Rasulullah sallallahu said in this hadith, إِنَّ السَّلَامَ إِسْمٌ مِنْ أَسْمَاءِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَضَعَهُ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَفْشُ السَّلَامَ بَيْنَكُمْ The meaning of this hadith is that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, As-salam is a name of the names of Allah that he put on earth for you, between, uh, for you, so spread it between yourselves. So actually, when we are, when we say to somebody, Assalamu alaikum, what we are doing is we are spreading the name of Allah. And we are also spreading the meaning of the name. What that means is Allah, Assalam, meaning Allah is free from all defects. So when you see somebody in the street, everybody has got problem, everybody is going through life, life on earth is troublesome. So when you find someone and you tell him, 
May Allah, the salam be on you. And the salam here means anything like the one, the safeguard, the one, the protector, the one when you are going to go back to him on the day of Qiyamah, you wish that he is going to treat you safely. So for us, you and me Muslim, what we are saying to each other is, I say assalamu alaikum, it means that if you are obedient, a good Muslim in this life, so I bring the good news to you that the one who is going to safeguard you, assalam, is with you. How great news that you know that assalam, Allah is with you. Every time you meet a Muslim, he makes a dua to you, may Allah, assalam, and we must not translate it to the peace. Allah's name is not the peace. It is haram to call Allah the peace or the merciful or the magnificent and all these things. These are translations of some of the names of Allah. They are not his name. His, they are not his name. For instance, Usama is a name of a lion in Arabic. Would you call someone uh, the lion? Or, for example, someone's name is Shamsuddin, the son of the religion. It doesn't work. So Allah's name is As-Salam, and we must never, ever say in the name of Allah, the beneficent and the magnificent or the merciful and this, that is haram. We cannot translate that. And you must not add or use the argument that they are found in books because books are translated by people who could be good in language but actually nonsense in uh, Islam as a religion. So when you meet somebody, you tell him, Assalamu alaikum. And him, because you have made a dua for him, you have reminded her of Allah, the safe, the salam, who is safe from all defects. He is the one who does not oppress anybody. Nobody's going to be oppressed by Allah. And on the day of Qiyamah, when all odds are against you, Allah will safeguard you. He will have that extra care for you. The person responds back to you and he says, and you know what? You made this dua for me that salam is on me. I will respond because there is nothing better to answer this beautiful dua that you made on me with the same to you. So, wa alaykum salam And then Allah teaches us that we add the rahmah. Because you have initiated the dua. You have initiated the spread of the name of Allah. When you get the response, you get an extra level of reward. And this is how Allah wants it. If you spread the name of Allah on earth, then you deserve his rahmah, his mercy. You deserve his rahmah. And that's why when you uh, tell somebody, wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullah. And then if the other person says, as-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah, this person has reminded you and he has made the dua for you with the name of as-salam and has also given you of the rahmah of Allah on you, then we respond to him or to her in thankfulness wa alaykum assalam meaning and on you assalam allah and on you is the rahma of allah and the baraka you know what we, when you say baraka allahu fiq or wa barakat what it means baraka means good and what we are saying is when we say baraka allahu fiq we are saying may allah increase the good in you and from you when we say tabarak Allah, meaning this is the good from Allah is grand and we pray to Allah to make it bigger. So when we say barak Allah fiq, we are actually making a bigger dua for the person. From now on, assalamu alaikum does not mean don't be scared, it's safe. And that's why we can say to the non-Muslims because we are spreading the name of Allah on earth. I personally, I go shopping to Sainsbury's, the non-Muslims, I enter and go, Assalamu alaikum. Even if they don't know, they will ask, why, what is Assalamu alaikum? And then I explain it. It becomes an icebreaker for me to explain to them about Shalom, the peace, and the Islam, and how it stands. I will stop here. And so from now on, Assalamu alaikum. All you are saying is the name of Allah, which brings a lot of blessings, as-salam, needs to be heard 
in all corners of the earth, needs to be heard by every Muslim out there, needs to be spread on earth. And until tomorrow, my brothers and sisters, stay in the mercy of Allah. And I pray to Allah to preserve you all. My name is Abdul Salam Abu Hanifa. My telephone number is 078 7640-8735. This is for the United Kingdom. If you are abroad, just add 0044. And also, you can send me a message on WhatsApp to join my group, and you are most welcome to do so and ask questions or go on YouTube and run a search by Islam Pep Talks, and you should get to my channel out there. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the right guidance, bless our hearts, open our minds, and as usual, open your Muslim mind. There is intelligence in it. Wa salli allahumma ala nabiyyina Muhammad subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And Allah knows more. Assalamu